Subnastical presents. Hey guys, so this is a handstand tutorial. When I was in my old gym, I made it all the way to level eight without knowing how to hold a handstand for, you know, more than two seconds. When I got to my new gym, it was a requirement to hold for a minute and that was really tough. And I just learned how to hold a minute after a year and a half. So I'm gonna teach you what I wish I had known, how to hold a handstand. Let's get started. <laughs> that was my own handstand, and that's about how long I could hold it. So, in a handstand, what you have to do is you have to open your shoulders, and you have to suck in your ribs so it's flat, but you also have to open your hips. Because if you suck in your ribs, you want to pike, but you have to like keep your hips. So, this is how I learned it. So, if every time I didn't hold a handstand, Stop it. No. Okay. Um, every time I used to hold, I didn't hold my handstand. I had to get on the floor like this. I have to like make sure my my ribs didn't touch the ground, but but make sure like my hips did. So like that. Like that. So that's actually a straight line, and you have to make sure like your heels touching the ground. So this is kind of what it looks like in a handstand. like that but you also have to like stay really really tight so you usually think like oh I don't need to stay tight but you actually not just like in your abs but like everywhere like so another way you can um, stay up is to have your no light in between your ears and your arms so like pretend there's like I don't know like money in there and you don't want to like lose it so you just like, push up and that helps you to be taller it's harder to keep control of yourself, but it also makes your handstand look better. So, like this. So, again, I was like this the whole time. So, learning a handstand to have a good line is important on pretty much every event. It's really, really important on beam and on bars especially, like to hold the handstand. But having the handstand line makes your form everywhere look better. So, like if you were to do layouts on floor or twisting on floor, you just look taller. You have a nice line. Like, if, like usually your legs aren't bent, or like even if it's not a handstand, like a back handspring on beam, like a step out, it it still looks better because you're in a tight form. But on, pretty much on every event, it looks nice, just because you know how to uh, tighten your body, so it looks really good. So another thing you could do, I'm not going to do it because there's no walls, but um, doing a handstand against the wall, it's like the same as the floor, but vertical. You can do it. Okay, so this is how you would do it. You would, you can't, don't go, like don't kick up to the wall. You have to kick up, like to come to the wall. So like this. Your ribs can't touch, but your hips should. Like that. So you're in a straight line. Um, if I don't hold a handstand, I usually do it up against like a beam. So like having something here helps support so you don't fall. And then your forearms is good. And kicking up. Oh my god. Like that. So it's, see like I'm leaning and I can like date myself. So it's a lot easier to hold. Whoa. I can hold that a lot easier than I can hold a minute like by myself. So those are some tips on how to get your handstand better. Remember to stay tight and that's pretty much it. And now I can hold a minute handstand, which is awesome. For me it's easier on a beam because I can grip, but for some people it would be on the floor. Just if it's on the floor, make sure you like use your fingers. Don't like, don't keep your fingers flat because then you can't like, if you're going to lean one way you can't save yourself. So, like, Use your fingers and bend them to help you move around. Balance. To help you balance. Um, use these tips to help you get a handstand because they work. I'm proof of that. And a lot of other people. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.